Ready for the lights? I I'm ready for the lights. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lex and this is Riot and we live in the 6x12 cargo trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Jetson Bolt my friend Sarah brought up and doing a little test drive and review. So this is the Jetson Bolt and it's technically an electric e-bike. However, I would probably describe it more like a scooter because there aren't pedals. The pedals are bolted, they're stationary. But you do sit on it like a bike. So they technically call it an electric e-bike, even though I see it more like a scooter that you ride like a bike. Sarah got this for $349.99 at Target. On the Jetson Bolt website, it goes for $399.99. As you can see, it's a pretty sleek aesthetic. It has a lightweight frame. It's really quiet and it's pretty powerful of a motor. It has this built-in carrying handle and a kickstand. It comes with an LED headlight. You control the headlight from here as a bell. This is where you turn it on and off. You can see it has a pretty bright LED light. It has cruise control. It comes with a rear disc brake, 12 inch wheels and rubber tires. It has a pretty comfortable seat with springs. The frame is aluminum alloy. This is the charging port and it takes up to five hours to charge. We'll show that here in a little bit. The Jetson Bolt comes with Bluetooth so you can connect it to an app on your phone which allows you to lock the bike. It also allows you to track your mileage. I haven't really played with the app per se yet, but you can see it has walk mode, lock, track ride. I don't even know what this stuff is. Distance, activities, records. Uh, apparently you can do challenges. Oh, can you turn your headlight on from here? You can. You can turn your headlight on from your phone. See here on my phone, headlight off, headlight on, you can see it turns on. The max speed of the Jetson Bolt is 15 and a half miles per hour. The maximum range is up to 17 miles on one battery charge, so that's pretty good. The entire bike weighs 34 pounds. There is a 250 pound weight limit. The motor is a 250 watt hub motor. Now we did plug it in with the Jackery and I'll show you guys that in a second. And even though my Jackery is supposed to be 200 watts, this did seem to charge it, but that will be a determining factor. Sarah wants me to keep it here, um, but if I can't charge it, obviously that won't work until I upgrade my solar. So we're gonna, we're gonna debate that. The Jetson Bolt has a 36 volt, 5.2 amp hour rechargeable lithium ion battery. It is water resistant. The open dimensions are 40 inches by five and a half inches by 28 inches. Nope, that's a folded. The open dimensions of it are 40 inches by 20 inches by 37 inches. It's meant for people 13 years old and up and it comes with a one year limited warranty. Sarah, you want to show how to fold it? Because I've never folded it. Sure. Why don't you show how to fold it? Did you talk about the weight at all? Yeah. The weight, uh, how much it holds? Okay, well, it holds a lot more than that. Uh, I'm well over 300 pounds and it carries me. So, you know, for those bigger people out there again, um, you, can certainly, you can certainly use this, which is nice to know. As far as folding, you can certainly make it, you can make it smaller so that you can carry it, carry it, carry it easier. You can fold over the handlebars like so. 
And then um, you can either take out the seat or uh, lower it like you do a regular bike. Um, it's probably better to take it out and uh, store it separately, but then you can just pick it up and take it wherever you need to go. Cool. What other factors have you noticed about it that you like? Um, I, I like its sturdiness um, because it's, it's pretty light. I mean, you can carry it, but I like the fact that you, uh, that it's really solidly built. So that was one of the, that was one of the reasons why I decided to purchase it. Did you look at other e-bikes? I did. I looked at similar ones. I don't remember the names, um, but generally speaking, th this seemed to be consistently, you know, really well rated. So, um, and mostly it's used as a commuter bike in the city. So I thought that was good, you know. The Jetson Bolt is more designed for urban applications, but we've been strolling it around the campground here and it's held up to the bumpy road, the forest road, just fine. Absolutely. And yeah, you can also adjust, um, there's a clip up here by the handlebar um, and you can adjust. Oh, Ooh. I didn't even know that. Uh, you can hey, don't hit the throttle. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> okay. Um, you, can, you can obviously adjust this to suit your needs however it is that you want to have your handlebars so that's nice cool well see you want to give it an honorary spin <laughs> excuse me Oh yeah, it has the handbrake. The handbrake is here. I always forget to use it and I use my feet. <laughs> I don't know why. It works well, you know. <laughs> Woo! All right. That's that's why the brake comes in handy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it's all those years riding a fixed gear through the city. Ah, makes perfect sense. in Chicago on their bike. Yeah, they barely have brakes on their cars. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna run you over. But the brakes do work good. And then if it runs out of power, you can easily walk it. Now, technically speaking, the Jackery should be underpowered to charge this. And since we did run the battery down a little bit over this week, uh, this will be a good test uh, to see if the Jackery can handle it. So we have the charger. You can see the green light goes on. So now I have the Jetson Bolt charging and it was about a quarter low on battery. If you guys can see that. It's kind of running around 81 watts. So even though it said 250 watts, it's actually charging at about 75 watts. So it seems to be able to charge off this little jackery. It'll probably suck the battery down real good, but if I was to charge it on a sunny day, it should be okay. I really appreciate Sarah for giving me this bike. If you guys are wondering why it looks like the Incredible Hulk was here and shedded all his skin cells it is from all the tree pollen it's turning everything like a peridot green including us this is all pollen pollen on the trailer you can see all the pollen dust on the truck it's like an allergy suffers nightmare here stay tuned for some cooking Sarah brought up this plant-based protein starters. It's essentially like fake meat. I'm a vegetarian, as many of you know. So we had some interesting cooking. I don't normally go for fake meat stuff, but every once in a while it's, it's pretty good. And uh, we'll see how our dinner turns out with it.
have uh, sauteed spinach with cheese um, as a topping for um, soy, plant-based um, meat look-alike. <laughs> mystery meat. Mystery, mystery fake plant, soy meat. Mystery plant meat. So we're gonna this try fire it. is absurd. All right. Yeah, you get to take the first bite since you brought okay, it. Okay, sounds good. We brought the meat. I brought the meat. Where'd you get it, Jewel? Mm-hmm. Yep. Very good. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Do you like it with the spinach stuff? Let me try it again. Okay. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I love it with the spinach. Okay, the spinach has onion, Very good. green onion, garlic, Nice. Black pepper. Another excellent meal, Lex. Thanks. Having a friend come into town means I also got to enjoy an old favorite pastime. Perhaps viewer discretion is advised, um, but it is just a sport. <laughs> it shoots nicely though, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Thank you so much for watching. If you got anything out of today's video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.